composition of functions. Let's take a look at the formulas. F circle G of X is equal to F of G of X. G circle F of X is equal to G of F of X. For example, let f of x equal to 5x minus 1 and g of x equal to x squared plus 1. Here we are to find f circle g of 3. Here's the analytic solution. f circle g of 3 by use of the formulas is f of g of 3. Remember that we were given g of x which is x squared plus 1. In order to find g of 3 we would simply replace x with 3 therefore g of 3 is equal to 10 so we would simply substitute g of 3 for 10 so now we should find f of 10 remember that we were given f of x which was 5x minus 1 to find f of 10 we simply replace x with 10 in our function so f of 10 is equal to 49 therefore f circle g of 3 is equal to 49. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. When entering equations, we're going to let f of x be y sub 1 and we're going to let g of x be y sub 2. So we should go to the y equals. We're simply going to let y sub 1 be 5x minus 1. I'm going to hit enter. We're going to let y sub 2 be x squared plus 1. I'm also going to hit enter. Next we go to the home screen by using second and mode which is actually the quit key. Since we're composing the function evaluated at 3 we will let x equal to 3. In order to store this in the calculator we'll simply enter our value for x which is 3. We're going to use the store feature which is STO and we're going to store that for x and we're going to lock it in by hitting enter. Next we will compose the functions. We're going to use variables, y variables, function, and enter. So let's try it out. So in order to choose y sub 1, our function, we want to use variables. We want to scroll over to the left to y variables. And for function, we want to hit enter. And we want to choose y sub 1. Next and most important is that you want to use a set of parentheses to find our function y sub 2 we enter variables we want to scroll over to y variables and for function we want to hit enter we want to choose the second function and we're going to hit enter and then we're going to close off our set of parentheses as we can see y sub 1 of y sub 2 is equal to 49 Here we will find g circle f of 3. Here's the analytic solution. g circle f of 3 by using our formulas is the same as g of f of 3. Remember that we were given f of x which is 5x minus 1. Therefore f of 3 is 14. So we should now replace the f of 3 with 14 and we should now find g of 14. Remember that we were given g of x, which is x squared plus 1. So g of 14 is 197. Therefore, g circle f of 3 is 197. To take a look at the same problem on the calculator, we already have.